This may be one of the last, not the last, but one of the last videos like this that I'm going to be putting out because we are getting really close to the end of this project. What are some things that need to happen? Well, there are a few little details here and there. I know I keep saying that over and over every week. There are still a few details that have to be finished up. And one of those things is a punch list. As you all know, if you've been around any kind of construction anywhere, that there's a list of things that the architect has to finalize and the, the builder has to finalize and the client has to satisfy and everything has to come together and then you're done with that list of things and, and you're done. You're done. That punch list is has been compiled all along a little bit, but it's going to be looked at in great detail on Monday. And then we have some inspections. So we'll have the fire marshal in and he's already given us some ideas of things that he wants us to do. And we also will have the county inspector. So there are some hurdles that we'll jump through, but everything is looking really good. And we'll take a walk as usual and then we'll close things out for this video for this week. This, by the way, is Friday afternoon and we'll see pretty much what's been done throughout this week. This furniture has been sitting here for a while. It has been collecting dust, as you can well imagine, with all the drywall work and everything that's happened. And the time is approaching, in fact, very, fa very fast, when we need to take all these tarps off very carefully so that the dust just doesn't, boom, go right down onto the furniture and prepare them to be arranged where they belong in the lobby or wherever. So we are going to need some volunteers for that, some uh, volunteers that are very careful in their, their uh, lifting of the plastic and getting rid of the dusty old tarps. So if you think you can help out in that way, I think we might be doing that on Monday of uh, this coming week. So let us know if you're interested in helping out in that way. Out here you can see that the gutters and downspouts are done. We also have this white siding that will be painted. So I suppose when we start drying things out a little bit, that will be able to happen. This hose, which we've been keeping our landscaping alive, this hose will go away. And it's been really super that we've had some volunteers come and help us out with, with watering and sometimes on really hot days. And, and even when they were very busy, they came and they helped us out. So it's been awesome. So a big shout out to our volunteers for that. Over here, you can see that that roof siding is done. Now there is going to be a little bit more work because, and I don't think it's done yet, there needs to be a place where the firemen can get into that, <laughs> that area, that little tiny hole there, that wouldn't do it. Uh, the firemen need to get in up there, so in the case of some kind of catastrophe, which we hope we never have. We are still coming in door eight though. We won't be able to start coming in here until everything is released and we have a certificate of occupancy. I'm gonna go ahead and see if this turned on today. And it is, so I might as well just go ahead and, uh, and use that. All right, in here you can see the baseboard is down, looking fantastic. Televisions installed. There's a strong odor of paint right now, and that's because a lot of painting is being done. In here we have the children's check-in area. And like some more coffee 
paraphernalia. Nice doors and hardware. And here, some wires had to be moved and so that's why we've got some fresh drywall mud material and the fans running right here. This grass has sure grown up nice. I wish I could throw down seed and get it to work like this at my house. And we did get some new trees here. If you remember those other trees that we had were damaged. And so these are a couple of dogwoods and that will look very nice in the spring, I'm sure. that's it for this week i know that you can come on sunday and see all of these things for yourself there might even be more things done by sunday in fact so come on out on sunday and enjoy a worship time together with other christians and people that might be visiting and give god the glory that he deserves